it's cold outside and my breads are not rising. Are you having the same problem? Because I totally forgot that this is a thing that happened to me last year. I had breads and I was trying to get them to rise. My starter would totally rise, it was active, but then as soon as I added it to the dough and I was waiting for the bulk fermentation overnight, nothing was happening and I was getting so frustrated and then I remembered, oh yeah, I made a DIY proofing box and warmed my dough to keep it toasty warm so it would rise. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I made and hopefully it helps you too. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Donna. We talk about homesteading in the city on this channel and share a ton of our family adventures. And with family, we do a lot of cooking and I love making sourdough. So I went to go and make some breads. Like I said, they weren't rising, forgot, was doing silly things like trying to put them in like warm corners in the house and putting them on like my heat vents. You're not supposed to do that because then they get the draft and then the hot air and it's such a mess. So I was like, why is this working? And I totally forgot about this proofing warming box that I DIY'd for myself last year. I just wanted to share with you, there are tons of great like ideas and proofing boxes that you can buy. I just used what I had, which was a heating pad, a cooler and some blankets. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys so that hopefully it helps you out if you're having the same troubles I am in the cold weather. All right, I already have something in here. I am trying to bulk ferment some sourdough chocolate cake. So I'll just open it up. And what I did is I loaded her up with blankets. Here is the bread, or the dough, I should say. So the dough is just loosely wrapped in a cloth, mostly to keep it so the bottom is not directly touching the heating pad. So there's that. This is the heating pad, and honestly, this is just a heating pad that I had in my house um, for period cramps. It works awesome, I grew up with that. So then I have one of these, and it's on a timer shut off, so it only stays on for like 20 to 30 minutes, and then it shuts off. So then I just keep pushing the button. It's like a job for my kids. And then at the very bottom of the cooler, I just have a really cozy, fluffy blanket so that, yeah, everything just stays toasty warm. That is the setup in a nutshell. Like nothing crazy fancy, but it works. Um, I just know that you don't want to have the dough directly touching the heating pad. You want the temperature to stay as consistent as possible. This was the easiest solution that I have and it works. So hopefully it helps you guys out too. To protect the cord, I just have this little book, squishy bath book that I had kicking around and I just use it to keep the cord from getting smushed because I have kids they're kind of rough on stuff so sometimes just that little extra bit there to help them stay away from it in that way and if they're jumping on it and then like I said I just take the dough and I loosely wrap the cloth around it around the bottom of it mostly to keep the heat from directly on the on the dough so that it's mostly on the towel. And then I have one more blanket on top of that. We had like really cold weather here and it was so frustrating when my doughs wouldn't rise. So this was my solution to that. Just simple cooler box. Which I usually would keep it on like the second, the second or the third setting. And then on the really cold days, I actually had it on the hottest setting. It's, it's warmed up slightly now, so I feel like it could probably sit on the second setting. And then yeah, every 30 minutes this turns off, so I get a kid to come and um, check the light and push the button again. It's kind of something fun for them to do as well. And there you have it, a simple DIY solution. Hopefully this video helps you out if your sourdough is struggling to rise and you're in some cold temperatures and you're wondering why the heck your sourdough isn't rising. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my sourdough playlist next with all sorts of recipes, ideas, maintenance, and all that jazz. <laughs>